shit. 38 minutes? I didn't realize I had that much time. What's up, YouTube? All right. So, got another good one for you. This one here is going to veer off in a few directions, but it all it'll all make sense towards the end. Um, no panties. I guess that's what we can call this one here because it ties into this lady here who didn't have no panties on today. And uh, also, everybody who smiles in your face is not your friend. They are not your friend. Hell yeah, and this is not safe for work at all. So, let me turn this around so y'all have something to look at other than just blackness. So, 42 minutes after the graduation started, which is when the ex-wife gets my son there, which was the student of the year, and they actually held the graduation up for him. Well, we get inside, which I was already there. I showed my face a little bit because I ain't want them to think I brought his ass that late. But we get inside, and there's a MILF walking around there. Blue dress on. She had her son, and he was a small little brat. Cute little boy, though. And uh, all the guys, of course, was checking her out. Spanish woman. Short skirt. And a good-looking woman. Older woman, but she was good-looking. So anyway, during the ceremony, she bent over and <laughs> my dad happened to realize, huh, she ain't got no panties on. And see, the way he saw that is because that school used to actually be a club. And, uh... The walls in the school are mirrored. So, although she turned around, you know, facing the audience, I guess she didn't realize that her cooter is going to be hanging out. And the guys would look up her skirt from the mirror, which my old man was one of them. Now, when I say everybody who smiles in your face ain't your friend, I'm talking about my mother's sister, Miss the drama queen herself. I'm not calling her name. I'm not going to spill names out. But she is a drama queen, a fake ass woman. She's fake with everybody. She hates my father. She hates my mother with a passion. And she was at the graduation. And she was not at the graduation to be supportive either. And yes, I know she wasn't there to be supportive because she hooked up. Her boyfriend is a close friend of the family and we call him my god brother. He calls me his little brother because he's real close. And he is actually legitimately supportive of the things that my children do. And uh, he, he's a real good guy. In some kind of way, I guess, you know, maybe he's thinking with his penis or whatever, and maybe she's sucking it or whatever. And I'm sure she is. But, uh, yeah. She was there at the graduation for that. And the reason she had, she ended up having to stay. He had to leave because he had to do some work and for his boss. But he had to end up going, unfortunately. But she had to stay to save face because she just can't bust out and leave the graduation after all. That is her nephew. So now she's stuck there. But anyway, my dad, like a dumbass, thinking that, you know, Miss Drama Queen is cool because she is. She seems like she's cool anyway. I mean, if you're 50 and you act like you're 20, it's really not cool anyway. It's time to grow the fuck up. Sorry. My old man, he's 60, and he's into the damn Jordan shoes. Got 24s on his fucking F-150. Put 20s on his fucking Mercury Cougar. And then on top of that, it's a 71 Mercury Cougar. Car used to be as quick as a G35 until he put those big-ass 20s on it, which I told him not to put on the motherfucker because it was going to make the shit slower. It was going to make his car ride like shit. Now he's complaining that the car is riding like shit. I should have got some smaller wheels. I told your ass that the first time. Anyways, 
he writes a note to this woman thinking that uh, you know he can joke around with her which he's always trying to joke around with her because both of them act like they're fucking 20 years old both of them 50 and 60 years old and y'all act like y'all 20 grow up he passed a note to her saying that the kids who did see the woman's cooter are too young to appreciate the view that they got now my aunt who hates my mother and my father could have handled this in a few ways if she was a nice woman and respectable and if she actually cared but no she, drama queens like drama more than anything else an actual real woman or a caring woman would have pulled my old man to the side and said hey that's not even cool chill out with that you know my sister she's getting up in age she's self-conscious she's not in the best shape of her life anymore and you know you used to be a rolling stone yourself if you don't know what a rolling stone is then you need to look it up but instead of doing that she takes the note she puts it in her purse she waits till the ceremony is over with we drive to the uh, graduation dinner she waits till everybody is seated and eating and enjoying themselves and she waits till my old man gets up and he's probably forgot all about it chilling everybody's just relaxing I ain't know nothing about it myself and she whips out the letter at the table girl look at what your crazy husband wrote <laughs> gave her the black woman laugh you know that black woman laugh that a lot of older black women have <laughs> them ghetto ass women gave her the black woman laugh and gave her the letter and so my mom reads this and he, like just like clockwork her mood went right down here yeah he would write something like that now and like I said, Papa was a Rolling Stone back in the day. And no, my mom is not in the greatest shape of her life at 60 years old and self-conscious. And that shit does hurt her feelings. And my mother's sister knows this. So, Drama Queens, again, whips the letter out at the table while everybody is sitting down, enjoying themselves. Girl, look at what your crazy husband wrote, hands it to her, in front of everybody. What a bitch move. She didn't do it because she cares about her sister. She does it because she likes drama. So after my mother read the letter, she just kind of tosses it on the table and walks off pissed off. And so guess what else my aunt did? She hands it to my ex-mother-in-law for her to read. Again, everybody who smiles in your face is not your fucking friend. Everybody who claims to be your family is not your family either. Now, the old man was dumb enough to write that letter. So, if he gets his ass chewed, then good for him. Because he shouldn't have even read the letter. And, I mean, hell, if you're gonna look be discreet about it and shut the fuck up. I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, it's fine to look. I mean, yeah, that's my mom and everything, but we're guys, we are going to glance every so often. But don't look and brag about it. That's rude. That's weak. That's a pussified move. I'm not going to, well, when I was married, I wasn't going to be looking around and then tell him, and then turn around and um, go tell my uh, ex-wife's sister that, ooh, that girl got some ass on her over there. What kind of shit is that? Total disrespect. But I, I'm not defending his actions. 
And I'm not defending my aunt's actions because it was done out of just pure evilness. Because the bitch is evil. And I know my woman crush don't like me calling women bitches. But everything with a vagina ain't a woman either. So honey, and I know you don't like me calling you honey either. If you ever do even watch this. Because the divorce ain't finalized yet. But uh, you can just look at it as me uh, practicing. Just just practicing in case you change your mind. That's all it is, practice. Anyways, uh, everything with a vagina is not a woman. Okay? And she's lost that status a long time ago. This is an evil, evil, egotistical person who is up, I mean, just has her own selfishness, her own um, agenda at hand. This is, I, I can't even really explain it. This is the same woman who, when her daughter was on drugs and damn near homeless, and uh, was the girl was waiting on a big income tax checks to come back so that she can actually purchase a home put a down payment on a home she had got herself locked up was doing the time was gonna come out get her income tax her mother which is my aunt the one who did the shit at the table with the letter she actually cashed her daughter's income tax and said oh nope 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 I cashed it because you paying me back for all the times that I babysitted my grandkids. What a bitch move right there. Furthermore, she's the one who had her daughter locked up. Amazing, huh? So, no, this is not a caring woman who was just looking out for her older sister and wanted her to know what her husband was doing at the graduation because a woman bent over with no panties on in front of a mirror and he called an eye fool again people everybody who smiles in your face is not your friend and it's not too much I can say or add to it Cause I keep on dragging on and on and on, but I'm finna let this go for now. But yep, that was the graduation. Forty-two minutes late, and uh, that's it. Good night.